The Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, we're all familiar with that verse. It says that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. He has called you out of darkness into his what? Marvelous light. Hallelujah. And the Bible says also in the book of Colossians chapter 1, it says he has translated us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Glory to God. So I want you also to understand that firstly, salvation is coming into the light of God. Amen. Salvation is coming into the light of God. You know, the Bible makes us understand that darkness covers the earth, grows darkness the people. But the Lord himself will arise upon you. That means his light will come upon you. Your spirit will come alive. You'll begin to see. You'll begin to know. You'll begin to know how to live your life. So I want you to know that salvation is coming into the light of God. It's not the end. It's actually joining into the light of God. And this is whereby, you know, the theory that I'm saved and I'm saved forever, it does not work because you can still be saved and end up in hell. You can still be saved and live miserable. You can still be saved and, you know, never even achieve 1% of what God has designed for you because the call to salvation is a call to journey into the light of God. Praise the Lord. It's a call to journey into what? The light of God. So we have the potential to achieve everything. The Bible says God has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness potentially but the reality is whereby we assess the light i'm going somewhere this morning so salvation is journeying into the light and who is the light god is light praise the lord god is light and as i said there it has to be something that we intentionally do the fact we are saved gives us the opportunity to assess the light. The fact we are saved gives us the privilege to come in touch with the light. That is what we couldn't do when we were not saved. That is what we couldn't do when we were still in the world. But once you come to Christ, once you are born again, what happens is that your spirit comes alive. And so, the more of God's light you can contact, the more your life is able to reflect what God wants it to reflect. 